Eden Zero Chapter 210 is out, and I have to say, this one gave me the feels and set things up beyond what I was expecting, and even gave us a bit more answers, to an extent, with Ziggy and this whole thing about him, him being evil and coming back to life, and also teasing a greater threat that we are being teased with for this arc and will most likely be revealed at the end of this arc as we're nearing the conclusion. I still have some questions, I still have some questions, and I'm not sure what, how the ending of the chapter is supposed to be interpreted, but I'll get into it when I get into it. So without further ado, let's get right into chapter 210 of Eden Zero titled, The True Enemy. Hit that intro. So first off, just want to say, Hermit cover image, 10 out of 10, I approve. I love Hermit, I want to see more Hermit. I think we can all agree on this. Anyway, we start this chapter from where last week left off, with Ziggy coming back to his senses, stating that whoever was fighting Shiki is now asleep, and this is their only chance, and asks for Shiki to kill him. Shiki is in shock and is questioning if that is, in fact, his grandpa. Ziggy says, I know you have loads of questions for me right now, but I don't have time to answer them all. Ziggy will wake up soon before he does. You have to, but Shiki cuts him up and asks, is, Grandpa, is that really you? As Pino just says that she blocked the personality of the other Ziggy controlling him. And that this is most likely the personality of the Ziggy that Shiki once knew. But Shiki, obviously, kind of confused with this whole situation with a bunch of conflicting emotions is asking hold on personality what are you even talking about you just told me you came from the future to save the human race so how did you turn into that guy ziggy pauses for a second says it isn't exactly another personality and reveals that he had been taken over he has none of his past memories including from when he was shiki he doesn't even remember coming from twenty thousand years in the future and goes on to state that 20,000 years from now, he set out in the Eden Zero and left the planet Eden, on the quest to find Universe Zero. But then the unthinkable happened, as something begins to crawl around and encase the Eden Zero. Apparently there was an anomaly in the Ethereon when he was traveling through time. But he can't give up the mission. And Pino confirms, what he encountered was a chronophage. And yeah, the illustration kind of tells us that, which is honestly pretty interesting. He began to travel through time, and thus a chronophage began to try and devour him. Ziggy says that right before he made the jump through time, he came into contact with a chronophage, and he didn't learn this until later, but he never made it to Universe Zero. He ended up on a planet in Universe One. So this makes sense how he was in the main universe, even though his quest was to be going to Universe Zero. The chronophage knocked him off course, and he landed in Universe 1. He lost his memories and, except for his name, he was unfamiliar with the planet. He didn't even know who he was. He saw the Eden Zero, which he didn't even recognize it, was falling apart in front of him with sounds of explosions ringing as large as a bell. And that's when he came up to the name Granbell to name the planet, after the sounds. After that, he repaired it and built robots. He couldn't find any data on himself or his mission anywhere in the ship's memory. Thanks to the Colonel Phage's interference, it seems it was most likely completely wiped. But before too long, he made a town on his planet and it even turned into a theme park. Until one day a guest mentioned Mother, so he set out into space on the rebuilt Eden Zero on a quest to retrieve his memories. Shiki then states the obvious, but then you found me right before you got there. Ziggy pauses as she asks, where did you find me? That is one of the most important questions that we've all been wondering about. Where did Shiki come from? But Ziggy just says, I can't tell you that. And she's like, why not? What planet do I come from? Ziggy just continues to say, I can't tell you. Even asking Pino if she knows anything, but she doesn't have anything in her data. Ziggy just says that Shiki will learn with time. When the time comes, he'll figure everything out. But that's the one thing right now that he cannot tell him. Especially because, you know, Multiple time traveling shenanigans, I feel like he's taking into consideration if Shiki learns too much about his future, it could mess things up. If we follow those time travel rules, which are very vague to begin with in fiction. Shiki is kind of shocked and thrown all this information so far, but Ziggy continues. You know the rest of the story. 
I died and that should have been the end of it. But my body was taken over and it came back to life. My memories from my life as Shiki, the claim that I came from 20,000 years in the future, those were things that were told to me. I haven't actually remembered them. Those memories are completely gone. So, important piece of dialogue. This, this gives us the interpretation that Ziggy might not actually be a future Shiki. It's a possibility, but he literally states that these memories were told to him. They were, he didn't even rem actually remember them. So, what told him that? This entity that controlled him gave him this other personality, gave him these memories. Maybe that is an evil version of Shiki that took over this version of Ziggy, for all we know. Or something else that was done by this other personality or this entity that brought them back to life in the first place. But Ziggy states that there is one thing he does remember, the time he spent with Shiki on Granbell. And Shiki says a funny line that, so I've been calling myself Grandpa all this time. And Ziggy just says, no, I'm not you. Even if I did start out as you, keyword being F, this personality is my own. I think of you as my grandson. And I like that Mashima can to pen out a little struggle um, uh, shake on the character design of Ziggy to show that he's still fighting back this dark personality despite Pino blocking it for now. Pino asks another very important question, who took him over? Ziggy states the real enemy, the true evil you must fight. I was then get a two-page spread of a panel of the Edens one, as he says, and it's here on Lendard as we speak, as we get a multitude of panel collages showing every single character in this arc. So, implying that one of these characters is the true enemy that we're going to end up facing. The true enemy that's responsible for reviving Ziggy and wanting to destroy all of mankind and that's responsible for all the shit that's going on right now. Shiki asks who it is and Ziggy begins to tell the real name, but it gets mumbled up and broken down as Ziggy tries to say it multiple times, but he can't even say it. Pino points it out that it's some sort of language control program. This is a language that Ziggy can't speak and thus the name is being blocked from being said. As he states, no, we have used up too much time. I'll suppress my ether to its lowest level. Then you fire black sky at me and destroy me. She asks, why would he do that in the first place? If there's a real enemy, then he doesn't have to, but Ziggy continues to say, I'm too disconnected. So whatever this entity is, he's too intertwined with it. He can't break free from it completely. He continues to say, if you don't kill me, I'll only be used as a pawn again. Besides, I've already died. Please, as we get a panel of Ziggy beginning to tear up and cry, Put me out of my misery, Shiki. And this panel just hits so hard to see Shiki just looking at his grandfather in tears, asking to be put out of his misery. This just flat out tears me up, man. Mashima knows how to do these emotional moments, and... Ah, oh, man. Anyway, I, I, I don't want to linger on this too much, but we cut back to the Eden Zero as it's still docked, being repaired, with Connor and Hermit waiting outside the medical room. Hermit is still connected to comms through Shiki, so she has been hearing all of this. She's mulling everything over, all the information. So, as she says, quote, There's too much to take in. Ziggy was taken over by someone or something, and he can't tell us the secret of Shiki's birth. So this ties into everything else. Does it have something to do with the Shining Star's memories being erased? And when did he make Pino? We still have all these questions involving Ziggy, the Shining Stars, and Pino. This whole blank slate of history during the, this whole journey to find Mother and finding Shiki and Shiki's origins. And I'm so glad that these are being addressed. And Hermit, the smartest character in this series right now, is putting everything together. As she somehow comes to a realization. No wait. If, if what Ziggy says is true, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. It can't be is the true enemy as we cut away from Hermit who seems to have realized who the actual enemy is, cutting back to where Elsie is as we see a person lying on the ground dead with a hole in their chest and I believe two members of Elsie's crew lying dead on the ground bloodied, seemingly shot in the head or through the th or decapitated from what I can tell. And one of these people is the, I forget, his, I think his name is Jamie or, or James. He's the guy that killed Creed back in the Aoi Cosmos arc, as he is lying down on the floor dead, seemingly with a shot through the chest. The ether shackles on, from Elsie previously have been broken and brought to smithereens, a gun on the floor, as she is standing in front of this carnage. With the final panel of the chapter, 
being Elsie standing in front of everybody with all these different kanji and everything around her giving the presence of just sheer darkness, despair, and anger. And that ends the chapter. So I don't know how to interpret this last moment. Is this basically Majima telling us Elsie is going to be the main villain of the story? I have no clue whatsoever. Or perhaps it could end up being Justice, Act Noella, or hell, some people are even speculating maybe it's Sister, or something like that. I have no idea. It could even be an evil future version of Rebecca, for all we know, as this chapter said that there was some sort of malfunction or problem with Ethereon when Ziggy traveled back in time in the first place. And the idea that Ziggy might not even actually be a future Shiki because these memories were told to him. He did not remember anything. And despite everything, Ziggy is still his original personality and there's something else controlling him. So many factors, and the fact that, once again, the Shining Star's memory erasure, Shiki's origins, and Pino's creation are being addressed once more. All these will come together to give us who the real enemy is, the purpose of their creation, and just everything right now. And that final panel with Elsie in that despair-inducing state, looking down, seemingly as her, as her friends have been killed, and someone else has been killed, we don't know if it was her or if it was Aknoella, we have no clue. But two of them were definitely shot through the head with the gun on the ground. It's possible Jamie killed two more members, ended up killing two members of Elsie's crew after killing Creed. So, I have no idea how this is going to play out. I am excited for next chapter as we do not get a break next week, or from what I can tell, the week after. So, next week we're probably going to pick up with Elsie's part of the story and maybe the conclusion with Ziggy. Because despite the evil personality being shut off and locked away we still got some stuff to think about with Ziggy we got we need some answers and I don't think we're gonna end things off with Shiki tearfully destroying his grandfather while that would be a good way to end things off it would not be a good way to end the actual fight but either way I would be fine with it because narratively it makes sense that Ziggy wants to be put out of his mis misery and he's asking the only person that can do it for him and even he doesn't, he doesn't, I know he doesn't want to die based on the tears, but he's in constant pain and he's watched himself do all these horrible, horrendous things. But yeah, what do you guys think is going to happen? Who is the actual true enemy of the series that Ziggy is alluding to? Is everything that he's saying 100% true? Because he is not 100% remembering anything it was told. Who gave him these memories? Is it true that he is Shiki? Is it not? What do you think the whole thing about the Shining Star's memory erasure, Pino's creation, and Shiki's vert has to do with who the actual enemy is and why Ziggy can't say any of this right now? Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. I, re I read and try and respond to as many comments as I possibly can, and I just love talking to you guys. And if you want to see more Even Zero content in the future, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And it really does help. Shows that you guys show interest in this Eden Zero content. And I really, really want to keep going with this series and talk about it with you guys even more. But with all that said and done, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you all have an awesome day.